Well, the Rotten Little Theater means to me the first time I ever have a memory. Because I think you're not supposed to really have memories until you're like three. And we lived here till I was three and a half. And I remember playing in the Rose Garden constantly. Uh, Billy, don't go near the fountain. So, of course, Billy went near the fountain all the time. I was totally wet all the time. And I remember uh, my very first experience of a play. Of course, I didn't know it was a play. You know, it, I think 20 years later, I put it all together. But I remember sitting in a dark room, watching a man yell at my mother and pull her hair. Of course, it sounded like at home, but it really was right over there on the stage of the Rotten Little Theater, and it was Death of a Salesman. I had to figure it all out years later, but um, I had to be removed from the theater because I was crying and screaming, you know, because I didn't realize it was pretend. <laughs> so therefore, my first theatrical experience was right here. My childhood home for the first three years of my life is right there and it's the stage left dressing room and I always say be careful um, where you raise your children because you open the door and you step right out boom and you're on stage so um, couldn't be more appropriate that we're we're sort of revisiting that today this is such an honor I'm number 12 in a series of uh, American designers, sets, costume, lights, and sound. And uh, to be number 12 is just amazing. I mean, I couldn't be more thrilled. And Bobby Owen on the, the faculty at Chapel Hill wrote it. She spent two years interviewing me and, and going through files and, you know, all my collections of sketches. And so it's really sort of ex the, the ultimate thorough approach to what it means to be a designer on Broadway and in the world today. The Lost Colony is where my parents met, mm -hmm. and they were both Carolina playmakers, and, but they also met at the Lost Colony. And I've grown up down there every summer of my life. Since I was eight years old, I've been involved with it, my brother and I, both of us, in the show. As a child actor, then I became prop master, then tech director. Then I took off a decade or so going to school when I had to be working during the summer. But now I'm back, I've been back. This is my 50th year with The Lost Colony, and I'm uh, currently a production designer. So I'm just there two days ago and painting scenery and uh, checking everything, and then I'll be back right before opening to make sure every, the, you know, I've left uh, color plots and, and examples and make sure they've all been, been done. I'm crazy busy at the moment because sometimes, you know, it's ebb and flow in freelance design, I'm telling you. Well, the flow is flowing, <laughs> and I've got four shows that open uh, out of town, pre-Broadway shows before Christmas, four musicals. And two of them uh, that are brand new. The other two I've done before and we're doing another incarnation. But the two that are brand new and happening right this second and they're at the same time, they're both based on movies. One is Beetlejuice, the Tim Burton fabulous Beetlejuice, and the other one is Tootsie. And so I'm working on Tootsie and Beetlejuice and they couldn't be more different, thank goodness, because I don't get them confused. <laughs> And uh, so I go back uh, next week, I'll be there in fittings. I've had a blast doing uh, two, I've done two versions of live Broadway shows on television. The first one I did, first ever, was Grease Live, and that was quite luckily, surprisingly successful. And then I did Christmas Story Live, and both shot on the sound stages of Warner Brothers out in, uh, where, where they've shot, they shot Citizen Kane and My Fair Lady, and I'm going, oh my, you know, I had to pinch myself that I was out there. So it really was live theater. They are completely 100% live, no kidding, but then they're filmed like a movie. So it's a movie, a television, it's very hybrid, and the cast you get to work with are just amazing. And so, because it's such a limited run, you see, they can never, um, we could never have them that many people in one show on Broadway. That unfortunately, sure. couldn't afford that ticket. So uh, <laughs> it's great to do it, and I'm uh, looking forward to doing more of them.